Hey, it's Ashes, and I'm back. Um, I know I saw everybody yesterday, and I wanted to give you an update about some of the obstacles that I felt like I had to try to overcome in order to be successful in my nursing clinical rotation. If you didn't watch my last video, I will put the link down in the comments below so that you can go back and get a recap because this is basically like a, a problem solution video, but it's also a review for a product. I got this product free and I got it actually from WIC, which is um, a supplemental program in communities of all kinds um, based on counties called Women, Infants, and Children. And it was put into place um, from things like Healthy People 2020 to help increase the overall health of um, our citizens, our children, our elderly, our women, our men um, of all ethnicities, backgrounds, and um, uh, socioeconomic types. <laughs> so anyway, I am a nursing mother. I'm a breastfeeding mother and I knew that I wanted to continue to breastfeed while I was going through nursing school. And now that I have begun my clinical rotations, I said, well, I will see how my breasts do at the end of the first day. Well, they were screaming and not only were they completely engorged. I had a hard time um, getting the ducts to release milk. And um, on top of that, I basically told my body, I don't need you to make as much milk as you were making before. And I don't like that. That's not my intention. So uh, I was looking for a solution to my problem. I went to my local WIC office and told them that I had an interest in maintaining my supply um, and maintaining my fatty contents, the fatty content of my milk. And um, I needed to find a way to pump successfully while I was going through my clinical rotations. And I was used to a hand pump, a manual hand pump from Medela. Um, or Medela, whichever way you want to pronounce it, it's fine with me, I don't care. But um, she introduced me to something new, something that I heard about from one of the military moms in my um, nursing cohort. But I didn't think that it was obtainable to me because um, it was just at my price range right now. Nursing school is expensive for anybody, so uh, I couldn't afford it. Luckily, um, I'm very appreciative to, of my local WIC office. They had this available. They haven't had it around for long. So it's kind of like um, in review still. They're trying to figure out whether or not it's effective to their moms. And um, that these types of videos will determine whether or not they will provide it more readily for breastfeeding mothers that are eligible and decide to use WIC. So, this product is called Free Me, F-R-E-E-M-I-E. -E -E. It is a manual breast pumping um, system that is essentially hands-free and it is essentially concealed. These are not my actual breasts. Like I have compartments in here. This is the handle, but you know, um, these are not my breasts. Totally, I have compartments in here. They start here, and they come around, and they sit on top of your nipples inside of your bra, and you uh, wear them like this in a very supportive um, bra. And you pump. I'm not sure. You, I pump with this. So usually when I'm at school, um, I wear some type of sweater just in case somebody's looking or anything. 
I wear some type of sweater to keep myself concealed and I usually have on some type of pants with a pocket. So I can put it in here. And while it's in here, I can still pump it. I can still pump it while it's in here. But um, that's how I did it. I got it yesterday. I tried it last night with one breast. And um, I'm, I'm giving it a good review. First, because it was concealable. It was hands-free. You already saw them two of my biggest problems. Thirdly, the collection cups are still inside of the contraption. Like everything is inside of my bra. And the only way I can lose my milk is if I don't follow simple directions. So fourthly, I liked it because it didn't feel like it was forcing my breast to activate it was gentle it was inviting and i could feel my breast activating over and over and over and over again it's like they wanted to release the milk it's more of a massaging and it feels like it's coming from the back of my breast the top of the ducts where it's hard to get the milk and the fatty content most of the times so I can feel it coming from all the way over on the side here I can feel it come all the way from up here I can just feel it I can feel it all just pulling every time I pull this pump I can feel it coming from everywhere um, you can either get it you can either wear it with one cup or with two cups and they have two different tubings for that I have them in now and I'm going to pull them out so that you can see them. Um, I don't have any bras with wires in them because I just think that they're stupid. But um, that seems like it would be most efficient with um, this type of product simply because a sports bra can compress your breasts too much and uh, that can deplete your milk supply as well. So you don't want to have a bra on a sports bra on that's too tight so what i decided to do today was put on a bralette yesterday i had a sports bra and i will admit that even with just the one cup in i had to continue to readjust the sports bra i haven't had to readjust my bralette um so i'm going to pull the cups out so that you can see what they look like now i have two sets of tubing that go around my neck they start here i don't know if you can see this but here's one and it goes directly into the collection cup here then i have another one that's here if you can see it if you can see it here and it comes all the way up but it goes down directly into the collection cup again right here now they connect and I have them behind my neck they connect here I have them behind my neck they're not in my shirts I bring them up out of my shirt and I have the tubing running down my back and that is what this tubing is here and it connects to the actual piece that helps you express your milk Like that so like I said it's virtually totally concealed which is cool because even though I'm in a class full of mothers women um, sometimes people just will prefer you to be conservative and it's just not really that big of a thing to be fighting about when I don't even want I want you looking at my titties either so I should be able to pump in peace um, so I'm gonna pull them out now so that you can see here's one this is what they look like here's one like this and the tubing is here here's the tubing so I just wanted you to see it but I'm going to pull them pull the tubing out from up top I hold the cup pull the tubing out no sweat no sweat
and here's what the contraption looks like that goes around my neck this sits at the base of my neck this piece here sits at the base of my neck these two pieces go over my shoulders like a halter top like straps to a halter top and then this runs down my back and this is the tubing that goes inside of the collection cup I'm going to pull the collection cup out so that you can see what's going on in here I haven't been pumping that long the thing I like about it is I don't have to take it out as soon as I get finished pumping so here's one out I just pump for maybe 10 minutes at the end of my course and this is what it looks like when you pull it out like this and as long as you don't want your milk to spill at this point the directions say you can leave it lying flat like this until you're ready to transfer it it has a small hole there if you can see the hole here and that hole is not only where the tubing goes that comes around your shoulders like the halter straps, but that's also where the milk pours from. That's the spout where you, when you get ready to pour it into your collection containers or bottles or bags, that's where and how you do it. So I'm just going to take the other one out. What I like about this too is I don't have to wear pads for real like not right now not anymore so um, here's the other one definitely got a different amount of milk as you can see but I'm just going to lay it flat so that I can get my bags out while I talk to you about it so I definitely got two different amounts and these are my regular breasts okay don't look so pointy now I mean they still ain't that small but they don't sell plenty. <laughs> but um, I definitely got two different amounts because this morning um, I breastfed my daughter on my left breast before I came. So my right breast, I mean, my right breast was more um, full. So they had to switch. And when they switched, that's how it happened. So I just want to show you how easily it pours, how easily it can pour. Um, and then I will go about my business. Very easy to wash. Um, you can rinse them out and dry them out nicely and put them back in or you can wash them let them air dry it's all up to you um they had the box came with other pieces but different um suction sizes nipple suction sizes um so that everything could, could suit you and one thing that i do want to mention is that these collection cups they got they have marks on the side of them if you can see them I'm not really sure if you can see them like here 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 it's very faint because this is transparent but their um, measurements and this collection cup can safely go up to eight ounces which I think is awesome because if you're sitting there and taking your time and you relax, you don't feel the pressure of people rushing you out of certain places and you can continue to do your work, I'm pretty sure that you can get a really good amount out. Um, and then that's if you're holding it upright. That's what those marks are for if you're holding it upright. So with it being here, it's maybe a fourth of an ounce under, under six ounces. But if you lie, if you lay it down this way, there are also lines across the back. Still, again, not sure if you can see them. They're like here. You can feel them, but I'm not sure if you can see them. And they go up to eight ounces. So if you lay it flat and have it sitting on a table, you can see on the table where it is full. 
and you probably shouldn't put any more in there. So I'm just going to let them be how they are and open this up. Put it in. I like to lean mine into the bag like this because I had a bit of a spill before. So I like to spill it this way. You can see. I know I probably didn't do a good job of showing you what I had going on there. So that's that here. And I didn't spill anything, but I've been doing this for five kids. So better not spill. I mean we do make we do spill on girl. If you see my video that I had made about baby dude, I spilled my milk. Like all all in the video. But oof. I was devastated. You know how it is losing breast milk. I was devastated. Okay, so I'm gonna do it again and try to turn so that you can actually see. Okay. Okay. Not a drop lost. Not a drop lost. Um, and I, but I don't like these bags because their measurements are off. But I mean, what do you expect shopping at Walmart? Um, but um, I'm used to seeing a bit more fatty content. I will say that for fact that this is very nice looking milk and it took no time at all it was painless it was almost impossible to hear and um i liked it a lot i'm just gonna make sure i write down today's date and the fact that this is for my daughter so that it doesn't get mixed up with the other breastfeeding moms at the child care center and I would like to give free me a solid five um, because not only can it be used manually but it is adaptable and you can put it with electric pieces not only with free me products but Medela products and um, I think that's pretty cool because Medela can be hooked up to cars too so like that's totally hands free. You don't have to do anything. At that point, you would probably just need to know um, how long it takes you to pump a certain amount so you don't go over and end up getting milk sucked into your tubes. But um, I really like this product. I'm going to use it more. Um, I want to see how it fits under my scrub top because I haven't tried it on my scrub top. But I have been at school. For four hours and I pumped twice so far and this is what I have so I'm just, re I'm just trying to reposition it in this bag so I don't know how much it is because these silly little bags from Walmart don't actually have ounces on here and while I could just write it on there I decided that I won't worry about it because once I run out of these bags I'm gonna go back to what I and more comfortable with but um hopefully i'm not leaving anything out i'm not sure if it's dishwasher safe um but i prefer to hand wash everything and i find it to be safest um no pain no nothing and i'm gonna just put them back in after i take them in the bathroom and wash them out and that way, when I feel um, like my breasts are activating and ready to uh, be expressed, I can just start pumping this here. So if I knew the things uh, now, if I knew the things uh, then that I know now about the free me manual um, pump system, I would have purchased it for the money. So if you have any questions, you can let me know. 
Um, you can connect with me on all social media and all the information is in the description box. I will talk to you guys later.